Megan with Above Ruby Studio, and today I want to show you some more fun with the Gypsy. Anyway, I'm going to get that right down to it. I'll stop rambling. I wanted to show you some really fun things that I've been designing and doing with this. This is the main welcome screen that you will see when you turn your Gypsy on. I'm going to, this is the settings bar, and this is the application button. It's going to go to my design studio to design things to cut out with my Cricut. Woo woo! So it's loading the application, waiting on that. And I'm going to start by just opening opening a new project. It's going to ask me to select my mat size. I'm going to do a 12 by 12 mat. And I am going to show you the cuteness of the Gypsy Wanderings cartridge. I also want to show you a few other things, but we're going to go to that. That's the Gypsy Wanderings and the Gypsy font are two exclusive cartridges to the Gypsy machine right now, which is awesome. And they're beautiful, beautiful things. They have lots of great features, but the things that I'm really excited right now about are this pumpkin and this leaf. And you can see when you click on it, whoop, when you click on it, it makes it the image bigger and you can see, you can kind of preview your little images by sliding around through. So I am just going to backspace cause I didn't want that. Let's start with just this leaf for now. So I'm going to select two of these leaves and then I'm going to want to add a few other leaves to this project. So I'm going to click on my little bug here that has a little magnifying glass. This is my little search buddy. And I can go to this keyword bar and I can search alphabetically or I can select this little keypad here and I can type in the word leaves. Okay. Now it's going to bring up, it's bringing up the little time bar here and it's going to bring up all of the cartridges that have leaves in it. So I'm going to select home decor that has those really cute leaves in it. And that's not quite what I want, so I'm going to hit cancel and it'll go back up, oh, not cancel. Okay, I'm back in my search. I can go to the next one. Pink Journey has those flourish leaves in it. Pooh and Friends has some fun leaves in it. You can see all of the cartridges that have leaves in it, so you can test them out. But again, you can only cut which cartridges you actually own and have and are linked to your gypsy machine. All right, so we're going to use those leaves and we're going to use this little flourish leaf here. And then we're going to turn on our shadow function. And I want to cut out this leaf again in shadow. And I want to cut out this leaf again in shadow. And I'm going to go back over to my screen, my cutting screen here. And we can zoom in, we can move them around, we can do what we want to do with it here. We're going to tap it drag it up into this corner up here. When it turns to these blocks, that means it's outside of the cutting parameters. You need to make sure that your image is still viewable, just like so, and then it will be inside your cutting mat that it will cut on your page and it won't be messed up in any way. I want to zoom in. These are one inch right now, and I'm going to just hold my upper button here and tap on my screen and it's going to zoom in for me perfectly. I can also pan and scroll across my page just by holding down the lower button and just moving all around wherever I want to move by pointing my stylus to where I need to be. It's great. So I want to unzoom here. All we have to do is press our button again and it will unzoom the screen. Okay, so I'm going to select all of my functions here. When when one image is purple, it's that single image selected, not the entire group. So you want to remember that. Now, I'm go since my entire group is selected, I'm going to change my size. I'm going to hit this little height button over here. It's going to bring up a little keypad down here that I can type in the size I want. I just have to click on that, and then I can select the number of the size I want. I want them to be 3 and 3 quarter inches. So I'm going to type in 3.75, hit OK, and that's for height. You can select height or width. Whoops, I double clicked the screen again. I can select a single image and move it down so that they are within the cutting parameters of where single image is purple. We can move them all around inside my little cutting mat. So as you can see, these are all here and they are pretty much ready to go, ready to cut. All I have to do is hook in my USB cable, 
this end into the Cricut machine, this end into the Gypsy right up here on the top, and I can cut out my leaves for multiple cartridges just like that. And I'm going to show you something fun that we're going to do with them. All right. If you decide that you don't like something on here, really easy. All you have to do is select it. Make sure it's purple. Okay. So that means it's individually selected as you can see it is. And then this little X right here will simply delete him. Okay. Takes him right off my cutting mat. So he is where he needs to be. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have to show you this new function with a new upgrade or download update from ProvoCraft. Let's go over to our advanced bar, okay? And there is this really great little copy paste button. And all I have to do is click on it once everything's selected and it automatically copies the whole thing. So I can move them down here and I can move them wherever I want them to be as long as they are fully showing. We can flip the images. Let me show you that real quick. You can use this little button here and it automatically flips everything around for you. And again, you just move them so that they're all fitting on your mat perfectly. Okay, so they're all on there right now. And we can hit it again, and it'll copy it a third time. And we can hit that button as many times as we want to. All right, so this should fill up my 12 by 12 mat just perfectly. Okay, do you see how wonderful they fill up my mat? And now I can cut out nine of these wonderful leaves. I have orange textured cardstock. This is from American Crafts. I'm just going to place it gently in here. I'm going to try to hit my load mat again. It's gonna suck it right in for me. And as you can see, I have all nine of my little leaves on here on this 12 by 12 layout, and I'm just gonna press this cut button. It tells me to make sure that my pressure and my blade depth are correct. I have my blade on sixth. I can actually turn my pressure all the way up to max and I can hit OK. Now it's going to either say stop or pause if I need to stop or pause the cutting for any reason. Stop will cancel it all together. Pause will just hold off until I need to come back to it and do what I need to do. All right, so we're going to let this cut out and I'm going to show you. Okay, now I want to show you how I'm going to make my layout, my design, match my layout of papers that I've selected to cut out a few more leaves from. So I am going to come back over to my gypsy I am going to actually save this for later so we can actually hit my little button here. We can hit save with this and we can just type in fall. We can do whatever we want, name it whatever we want to name it. Okay, and it'll save it. Now I'm just going to hit, I'm going to hit it again and I'm going to hit new because I'm actually going to only use one of the leaves for this project. I'm gonna come back over here, it's my Gypsy Wanderings. I'm just going to use the shadow feature of that maple leaf, okay? So I'm gonna click on him. I wanna make him, there he is at four inches. Now what I can do is move him into the blocks according to where I have my paper laid out. Three, and three quarters height. It's the same as the others, I suppose, which is fine. We'll just move him up a little bit here, and I think we'll be okay in the blocks. Okay, so now we can go over to Advanced, and we're going to copy him. And let's hit that button again and zoom this out. And we'll copy him, and we'll move him here. And that's enough blocks over, I think. One, two, three, four. Starting at five, we need to move him a little bit going to cut away right inside of my papers that I've chosen.